Great questions. Uh, I grew up in the industry, so I actually, my dad still has a small independent shop up here in Wisconsin, and um, I'm not involved in the day-to-days of that business, but I grew up in that business and uh, started my life off, or my professional career off as a technician. And I use the word technician very loosely because I was a terrible technician. I was just awful in every aspect. And uh, so, as I like to say, if the industry kind of kicked me out of that that position, uh, it gives me to this day a lot of respect for good technicians because it was something that I couldn't do, right? So uh, if you can't do, I guess manage. Uh, so I, I went into different aspects of the industry through sales and management types of roles. Uh, worked for a manufacturer for a number of years uh, as a uh, territory rep, uh, then went to a uh, actually a construction, a construction ag equipment dealership and ran their parts and service departments. And over the course of my career, and even from my early childhood, understood that there was a need for technicians. And so I started a company called Find a Wrench initially uh, mm-hmm. in 2017. And the funny part was the it was kind of a play on words because my dad said when I was a kid, I can't find a damn wrench anywhere. And, <laughs> right? What he was referring to <laughs> what he's referred to as mechanics. So I remember hearing that at home uh, when I was growing up and so started a business off of that. That was more of a traditional type of recruiting service uh, where we have had a staff of of recruiters and uh, we learned a lot over that period of time. That company grew really, really fast. Uh, but what we noticed over the course of the time was that the market was shifting and really the leverage that technicians had over dealerships was really changing uh, because there wasn't enough of them, right? There's just not enough people in the in the pot. So as we were going in, a big piece of what we did on the finer wrench side was posting job ads and uh, you know, doing uh, different types of social media to try and capture the attention of these technicians. Sure, yeah. We were we were we were struggling to stand out, right? It was really hard to post on Indeed when you're in Houston, or if you're in Chicago, or if you're you know wherever you're at. When you post a job ad, and you're one of thousands of different job ads looking for a technician. So, uh, I actually uh, a good friend of mine, Mark Wilson, uh, and I uh, teamed up. He had a tech company. Uh, called VIP Crowd before, uh, and he had a a few other uh, tech companies prior to that, but where he was maybe struggling with some of a niche fit and Mm -hmm. had a great product, I had the niche fit, but we were searching for ways to to really stand out. So uh, we teamed up, uh, merged our companies, and created Wrenchway, and really used everything we had learned throughout the the course of what Finder Wrench was in the recruiting space to be able to come up with this platform uh, and really, really help dealerships be able to sell themselves to technicians. 